Oh, this one doesn't have sound, Rip. This sounds real shitty. Oops. So we're just going to have to wing it here. This one, I forgot, didn't record real well. Okay. Look who that is, man. Steel Man. S- Steel Rod man. Steel. Holy cow, look who he's wrestling. Well, that's the under- Undertaker before he's the Undertaker. Undertaker with Paul Heyman. Uh-huh. I mean, that's pretty wild. Undertaker with Paul Heyman against Rob Morgan, a.k.a. Rod Steel. The Steel Man. The Steel Man, Rip. Look at him. It was wild as I always thought he was so huge back in Seymour at Crossroads Gym. Well, he was what? About six, four and a half, probably legit. And then you get him on here against The Undertaker. <laughs> or even even TV in general. The Steel Man, though, man, he was. He got bigger when he got older. Well, like who don't? he was. Well, true. Yeah. Well, I get fatter when I get older. No, but you know, when, when you was, when you was uh, an athlete in high school and college. Then you're you're really lean because. So a lot of this stuff I think is from the early '90s. You think this is? Steel Man was probably. Twenty one there. Oh. Got to get his shit in. We think that leapfrog rip. Well, it greatest showed, ever. It, showed, it it was the greatest <laughs> one we've seen today in that match. So the uh, the story is on the Undertaker here, Mean Mark or whatever he was here. Uh huh. They said uh, in WCW, I don't know who was in charge at the time, but they said he would never draw any money. They well, didn't, that, just didn't see anything in him. Well, he's boring. No, you got to remember when when he when Vince McMahon created the Undertaker, he made him a super cartoon character. Correct. Here at WCW, they had wrestlers, which takes a long time to build. A long time. Now, if he'd come in as a heel. But he come in as a baby face. Was he? I think he was a baby face. Surely they, not with Paul uh, right now. Well, well, maybe when he came in. Yeah, when he came in. Now, he's, getting, now he's doing baby face moves. Getting walk, his shit in walk, right now. Getting his shit in, right? Uh-huh. Got to get your shit Ooh. in. Boom. Now, when, when you would take Steel Man, I assumed you guys went together yeah. to the show. Did you watch his match, like, since he was your guy? Uh, sometimes, yeah, sometimes no, because they were just going to do what anyway, and he's just doing as he's told, so that's irrelevant. He learns, learns not to, uh, want to get all, to get anything in if need be, because sometimes they want a total squash. Usually these TV matches were total squashes, just like this one is. You think Steel Man was nervous? No. No. Uh Uh-uh. Because I beat him half to death on the, in, in, uh, uh, wrestling him on cement and everything. And this is... But this he, was this, on national TV. Yeah, and Cement getting, was like in your yeah. Well, he's getting your paid. Crossroads gym or yeah, whatever. but you don't even think about that when you're wrestling. You don't think so? No, uh, uh, hell no. God, he almost had him. He got second. You know. He got second. <laughs> he didn't get the blue. He didn't get. Now, the, do you think the Undertaker needed Paul Heyman to win that match? No, he. Just, I don't <laughs> think he did. Uh, no, he's got Paul Heyman because Paul Heyman's talking for him. Man, Steelman had him. Had the heart punch. Is that the Oxbaker heart punch? Yeah, Ooh, you're right. smoked him. That's a good sell. Went down, yeah. Not, good. A, not a stupid flat back for no reason. No. It's a crumple. Well, that was a review or, or respond or what's our show called? Uh, reaction. Reaction. I knew it was an R. Some, reaction with Rip Rogers. Like that. So, you know, we've done a few of these so far, Rip, and we've never seen you win a match. So I thought maybe if we did one with one of your protégés, that they would come out victorious, but we're, we're still over. Well, you know, sometimes you're in a slump, you know. <laughs> I promise, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back one of these days on this show, uh, maybe this segment. Lucky, maybe Lucky Sandlin will be on. And Rip Rogers will get a victory. Well, you better reach deep, in the, you better reach <laughs> deep into those old tapes. <laughs> a lot of them. Big gold and a billfold. So swole that I can't get the shit closed. So I money fold and rubber band wrap. And when it